When we read about Christ casting out devils or evil forces, and when we also read that he was tempted in the desert, we have to realize that we are likely to be tempted ourselves. When we become very clean and very pure, there will be different types of energies and people who will be attracted to us, so that in some way, once we raise our consciousness, we shall be able to help all the types of negativity that occur around us. So it is not a case of purifying your body constantly till your vibrations are very strong in the hope that you will eliminate temptation nor attract anything negative anymore. It is quite obvious if you are a very negative person that you will attract all kinds of negative thought forms because they will feel a closeness and an affinity with you. However, within some types of negative entities, there is a great need to purify and cleanse. And when anything negative wishes to purify itself and reaches a point where it can realize its situation, it will be drawn towards someone with healing energies. We also hear of an innocent person being attacked and raped because people with very bad negative chakra systems and auras are sometimes very attracted to the pure and so receive some form of cleansing from that encounter. You sometimes find a murderer will murder a very innocent, beautiful girl. He may be really attracted to her for that reason. In some way, if we think about present-day political conditions, for example, beautiful people are being tortured or murdered when they try to help people lead better lives. They are really our modern-day martyrs. They give up their lives. There may even be a cord between these people which has drawn the good people to leave their dear ones on earth and to find themselves once again out of body. Negative forces, therefore, are a very deep study. And in fact, when we think about negativity, the base for it all is very often a ruined, unhappy heart center. We inherit bodies. We inherit weaknesses, and sometimes the parents may not be wise enough or strong enough and give their children too much freedom. They are sometimes not caring, but just give them money and not enough time, attention and love. Then we get a warped individual whose only release in life is to look for his or her opposite in someone who is pure and opposites can attract. This complex question we're going to discuss first from the outside. There must be for us a place which, if we are going to be a therapist or a healer, is pure and is clean. If you are going to choose a place where you are going to help others and heal them and they are going to walk into a sanctuary in order to be cleansed, then you have to prepare this place. And the best way to start is with the earth itself. If you cannot douse, then why not consult a dowser? Because there are negative streams under the earth and they have been correlated with cancer. And so if you have something flowing that is wrong, Within the earth itself, you will be fighting a losing battle. The more you cleanse, the more you have to cleanse. And it very much depends how strong you are. If you feel that you want to stay in the place that you are in and cannot cope 
with a negativity if it is there, call in somebody who has more knowledge of these things. The energies should be purified because it is now the time to purify and cleanse the earth and you can help. 